Hello and welcome to another Game of the Year podcast. Uh, apologies, had a little audio hiccup at the beginning of this week's show, um, but uh, I have kind of cut it together a little bit to kind of make sure that it kind of does function a little bit. But for you guys listening out there or maybe watching the video who weren't watching it live uh, on Twitch at the time, it might be a little bit confusing. So I thought I'd put this little explanation in for you. Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to pass over to the past Leon. Hello and welcome to Game Over Year, the video game podcast created by Gamers for Gamers with your host, Leon. The Stag Beal himself. Yeah, you know what? I like that. It's quite theatrical. Uh, like, <laughs> just, yes. uh, just to apologise to anyone who was watching on the stream there, Dave was muted for the majority of that spiel, uh, unfortunately, but uh, it was lovely. <laughs> uh yeah it, it turns out that from the beginning i forgot to unmute you guys like they could hear me fine it's just that i forgot to put you guys in so i apologies uh, for that uh... <laughs> so yeah uh it's like my weekend just gone so i the expansion came out and i was like cool i'm gonna record this so yeah. i spent all of friday evening recording and i was all ready to go and then xsplit crashed on me and because it crashed while I was in mid-recording, the recording fucked up. I yeah. couldn't couldn't cover it. Yeah, so I'm like, I've okay, had that before. It's fine. I haven't opened my, the majority of my packs. Um, I can still I can salvage this. I can go back and I can open the packs and I can redo the tavern brawl and I can redo the adventure. It's grand. It's fine. Unbeknownst to me, restarting the X split had remuted my mic from when I had done the recording of the System Shock. So I started recording. I was like, yep, I've already checked all my sound levels. It's grand. Crack on. Did all the pack openings, did all the adventures, did everything. Went to do the editing and it was like, well, I've got the game sound, but you can't hear me. Oh, you're going to have to redub it. That's all right. Yeah, so I had to uh, comment over the top. So yes, so it was 24 hours almost, maybe a little bit longer of recording and editing <laughs> bullshit. So it's nice well, to know that I'm not the only one who might good. mute me. It's all good, yeah. No, I, I, I fucked up there. So uh, let's just uh, let's kind of backtrack a little bit and uh, let's go back to your first game. Then you can talk about Hearthstone again. And then, uh, so apologies for that, Dave. Uh, but yeah, then I will have to do some <coughs> magical editing also, Dave, uh, to be able to get it all back in. <laughs> okay. So in I suppose nutshell, technically uh, I need to do an intro as well with you guys, but we can do that later. That'll be fine. <laughs> oh, I do love it when things go wrong. Okay. So in a nutshell, Castlevania Lament of Innocence completed, done, extra hidden boss, Pain in the ass, but very satisfying when you kick his ass. <laughs> nice. Uh, second game. Uh, Concur. Final Fantasy Third. Well, actually, technically that was the second game, but uh, you, I'll let you edit it all. Um, Final <laughs> Fantasy Thirteen. Um, done. Completed. Everything kicked ass. Uh, ridiculous amount of time spent in order to do all the weapon upgrades. Can't be asked. Yep. Yeah. Cool. And Hearthstone expansion has just been released. Many cards. Blizzard give you free stuff. Definitely worth checking out. Go watch my videos. Yes. Oh, yeah. I suppose on that kind of level, yeah, just to pimp that out straight away. Uh, we have got, uh, you, well, you've got quite a few videos on the, uh, the Knights of the Frozen Throne stuff, haven't you? I have the Tavern Brawl, which was the Shift Gun. Mm hmm. I have the prologue and first wing three bosses video, so basically showing you how not to beat them. Um, and <laughs> then the pack opening redub, which was me commenting on me opening the packs. Well, at least you had the game audio as well there, though. Like, at least, like, you had something and you could redub it. That's the, you know, if you had nothing, Absolutely. then that would have been. Well, luckily, I was shit. able to just redo the uh, tavern brawl in the uh, adventures. Mm -hmm. There wasn't too much of a, an issue. But, uh, yeah, the pack opening was is fun. But, uh, yeah, basically, it's just a cut down version of the pack opening, which is just all the legendaries and epics and me going, oh, 
excitement all over again, as if it was like the first time acting. <laughs> Love it. Uh, anything and else? Final game, Lord of the Rings. Ah, yes. um, expansion has just launched within the last couple of weeks. Uh, I spoke about it before, but now I've had a chance to dive on in. Um, I'm still not high enough level, but I do have the insta boost to max level item if I should want to use it. But right now I'm quite happy doing all the older quests. But generally, from what I've seen, people are quite happy with the expansion and there's definitely loads to do. Um, the game is really big now. So if you like brand new, there is so much to do. But lots of people are actually sort of restarting from the beginning. So there's definitely loads of people playing. So you're not going to be stuck for finding uh, kinships to join or people to adventure with, which is nice. So there's still quite a vibrant community going on that. That's good. But uh, it'll be interesting to see what they're going to do now, now that we've got Mordor, uh, once the ring has been destroyed. They they have said that there's going to be further stories and further adventures sort of around the area and sort of beyond Mordor, but uh, it'll be interesting to see where they go with that. Mm. Oh, cool, man. Well, you know, uh, on MMO kind of vibe, I'll just uh, I'll quickly hijack the shit right now. And uh, I've been I have been playing uh, sort of some more of uh, Final Fantasy fourteen Stormblood. Uh, I've actually got to the Stormblood content now as well. Uh, I've been sort of playing through some of it. Uh, I'm sort of still sort of busting around my white mage. I've played a lot more though uh, with my red mage this time. Uh, which has been really cool, actually, because uh, I've never really played as DPS on uh, Final Fantasy XIV, and uh, my God, is it easy playing DPS? Uh, <laughs> is it always easy to play DPS? You just point and you shoot. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, then, like, I mean, if, I, as I was kind of saying on the on the last podcast with people that weren't listening last time. I uh, with the red mage, it's sort of it's very RNG based because uh, what happens is that you'll be kind of you'll have to do one move and then it, it, it there's a chance whether what another move necessarily will unlock. Uh, if not, then you're having to start that combo again until it kind of unlocks. It's it's weird. It's weird the way it, ho- it all works because there's the factor that you've got your black mage and your white mage. Uh, uh, like sort of spells, but they're not really like proper spells. You, you're pretty much just a ranged DPS uh, on that game. But then you have got once you've kind of got everything up to a certain amount. So like, it's really hard to explain this fucking shit because it's just it's completely ridiculous. I remember the first time I sat down with it trying to play with it, I was like, "Sorry, what the fuck's going on?" Like, <laughs> uh, but I you know I got there in the end and I've I've, been, I've had a lot of fun with it. Um, but you know, I have kind of like gone back to my white mage as such because I've realised that you know, being DPS, waiting for instances and stuff like that, you're waiting for you know, uh, I'm waiting for a good like, I'd say like fifteen twenty minutes, where like if I'm going as my white mage, like under five minutes most of the time, like and it, it and as Mike was sort of clicking there, like yeah, sometimes it is instantaneous, so. Yeah. It was the I, same with well, uh, if you were going to be a tank or a healer, then you were pretty much guaranteed straight in. Uh, with DPS, you could be up to an hour before you got in. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's bad. Uh, to be fair, it used to be like that on Final Fantasy a little bit, but it's got a little bit better recently. I mean, that, hence why I say under 20 minutes, which is, I, you know, I think for an MMO, a DPS is actually pretty far. Good, but it's still still long unfortunately but uh you know it's it's been cool at least they've got like other things that you can do uh to kind of level up as well so you'll be doing things called fates uh which are sort of like uh instances that are on like well i say instances it's sort of like it'll be like a public event as such that happens you know or you know there's many of them it, uh, in each kind of area they're all sort of like different kind of levels as such depending on what area you're in and uh you know anyone can join them uh and it's the cool thing about it as well is that if you are uh attending a lower level one you can level sync down to it as well 
Um, so, you know, there's always things to do on a leveling point of view. So, uh, you know, it's not it's not that bad, you know, being a DPS in this game. Obviously, it is taking a lot longer to kind of level up than okay. it would be with my white mage right now, which is great. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm definitely enjoying it, though. I recommend it highly. I think... I think they did kind of maybe make a mistake in releasing two DPS uh, classes only on this expansion um, because the fact of that is really encouraging people to be DPS more than anything else. Um, I mean, on the last expansion, they did do uh, a tank and a, and a healer. So it was just sort of like, you know, they, they did the right thing last time. And I, I don't get me wrong, I understand that they need to kind of release, you know, DPS characters as well because, you know, for dps fans out there you know we definitely want something else to play with but i think they should have maybe uh, i don't know staggered it a bit more you know maybe release a tank and a dps you know the first time around and then a healer and a dps the next time around you know just sort of mix it up a little bit so that it kind of encourages people to be uh, that more but i don't know um but yeah that's that's final fantasy realm reborn uh, I'm going to pass over to uh, Mike before I kind of get into my Xbox One experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Many, many games of Xbox One. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I've got... Um, my missus is playing Power Golf, whatever it is. Power okay. Star Golf. Okay. Never heard of it. It's, it's like um, cartoony golf sort of thing. And she's excited because she's on like a plus seven on a pole. Like, so she's seven over what it should be. Yeah, I was going to say, awful plus, at this uh, game. No, plus numbers, not good at all. Bad. So that's, sorry, that's why I was kept getting distracted because I was trying to tell her that's not how you hit the ball. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> I, what playing. Um, so I did the Foot Honor weekend. I had a little go on Foot Honor. Um, ah, nice. Which was interesting. It was all right. I found it. I either was up against someone that completely kicked my ass, or they were shit and they must have been on the weekend as well. Um, it got me really wanting to be a knight. Like, I really liked <laughs> like, um, the knights and stuff. And because Game of Thrones and stuff is on at the moment, it was very much like, got to be a medieval knight. Got to be all up in that. Um, I gave that a little go. I don't think I'll be purchasing it. Um... It seemed fun, but it's just not really me. Um, I also re-downloaded Skate 3. Yes, uh, mate. That was the with, first game. I, I shit you not, right? I, I, I fucking get, a, I don't know, what, a 300 quid console, and the first fucking game I play on is an Xbox 360 game, Skate 3. <laughs> great game. It's, I'm still trying to get through all the bullshit at the beginning, though. So, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's I'm the still doing that as well. I'm doing all of it now, but yeah. no, I love that game. Um, hopefully, one day we'll get a Skate Four, but who knows? Um, I also downloaded a couple of extras. I I redid my EA access, so I downloaded. Um, I was playing some Zuma. I was playing some Peggle. Peggle is so good. It is? Like, I fucking hate that game, and I love it. I was looking, I've got some, like, I'm about seven off doing all of the fucking trial bits, and I don't think I can ever do them. Like, I've tried, like, I've had that game for five years, and I don't think I'll ever be able to. Who knows? Um, and then, what else did I play? Um... Standard bit of UFC, and I'm like fucked now because I've just got myself up to too high a level. I just can't do it. They're just all sick. Like no matter what, I like I'll win one in five probably, which is just enough to keep me in that level, but only just. So now I've either got to up my game massively, or I've got to go down a few levels and then I can kick some people's ass again, which I might contemplate doing. It's a bit more fun yeah, that. Nice. I've had the same problem with uh, Plants vs. Zombies uh, because I uh, got to the uh, max rank. Um, basically, all of the matches that I play are all people at the same sort of level as me, but they have basically spent a ridiculous amount of money on the game, so they have all the good cards. So I go in with my half-assed deck and just get stomped on all over the shop. <laughs> so 
I'm having to um, drop down the, the ranks, so I'm not actually ranking at all this season, and I probably won't be ranking at all next season, so I can drop down low enough that uh, I can actually sort of make it more Enjoy enjoyable. Yeah. I think that's the problem, once once you get up to a certain level, like unless you really dedicate yourself to it. Um, I also... What was the other EA Access game? Fucking can't remember... Wasn't a game I'd ever played before. I don't uh, know what it was. Uh, I'm just trying to think what's in EA Access. Uh, Mirror's Edge. Uh, no. uh, uh, Battlefield 1's on there as well now. Right. Um, is it? It is, yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah, oh, I, I downloaded download it at the weekend. That. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember what it was. Oh, it's an older game. So I'm, I'm, just going, I'm just signing into my EA Oh, Access. Dead Space. I never oh, played the. Oh, you never, never played, played it. Dead, I never played the original. I played Dead Space Two. Ah, okay. I, never really played that. I played a demo of Dead Space, but I never really got into it. It was alright. I'm just. I, I didn't really get into it enough. I didn't spend enough time on it, so I might re-adventure to that because it looks like a game that I could enjoy. Um, but it's a game that if you just want to blitz through it without much thinking play on an easy difficult setting if you actually want to enjoy the game play on a hard difficult setting because then it's actually i always play on hard difficulty i know ne- i never put it on easy it's boring <laughs> that's probably why i hate so many games because i fucking can't beat them <laughs> uh, no I, I never ever do a game less than hard mode yeah, basically the story is ripped straight from Event Horizon, but um, the the game is really good. But yeah, you have to play it on a hard difficulty setting. It's just fun. The only bits that I hate about Dead Space was the fucking shooting gallery where you had to shoot the asteroids and shoot the uh, space boss. Just those, those particular two sections of the game were absolute bullshit. It's got nothing to do with the fact that I can't do the achievements for them at all, in, whatsoever. Yeah, but there's. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and, yeah. Apart from that, the only thing really I've been doing is spooning over fucking Game of Thrones. Just um, I just want the next episode, and then I just seen that in the next episode someone sent me a link for the leak that's come out, and I was like, I don't think I can watch the leak of it because first of all the quality won't be that good, and second of all, then I've got to wait even longer for the next episode. I don't think I can do it to myself. Yeah. No. yeah. I mean, I saw loads of people this morning go, oh yeah. We're gonna we're gonna watch it now, and I'm just like, nah. I mean, like, I I have I I I'm literally I have I have never watched an episode of Game of Thrones. I just it's never happened for me. I've, I've watched like, one episode of Game of Thrones. Yeah. How have yeah. you not watched it? Never it's watched so it. good. I I have now put it above Breaking Bad. That's wow. how good it is. And Breaking Bad was always my favorite. Yeah, I don't know. Breaking it just never looked like my thing, really, which is weird. I read the book. Fucking dragons in it, man. Yeah. The, the books were okay. I watched the TV series and just it was it was meh. I, I've never been excited about Game of Thrones. Do you know what I am excited for right now though? The Defenders drops this weekend. I know. Fucking Fuck yeah. can't wait. <laughs> so good. There's a lot of good stuff coming. Yeah, There's a lot yeah. of good stuff coming this year. For sure. Um, Maybe watching that DC Legends of Tomorrow. I can't do it to myself. No, I've I watched haven't. a few episodes and I'm like, this is shit. I can't do it. I don't like the actors in it. They're all fucking... They're all... Um, I ne- they're all like C- C-rank celebrities. Like, if I want to watch superheroes, I want to watch fucking The Avengers, or I want to watch... I can't like, wrap my head around that the guy playing the Atom also played Superman. What the fuck? Yeah! You can't... Nah. Can't be having it's that. like stick with one superhero. You can't be more than one. That's just greedy. <laughs> I still, I really want to go see the new Spider-Man though, because everyone's told me it's really good. Yeah, I, I, I still haven't, haven't seen it as well. I, I really want to see it as well for sure. Um, but hey, uh, we'll get, we'll do that. We'll do it one day. We'll do it one day. One day. <laughs> you know, I, I think what will end up happening is that I'll just end up watching it at home. You know, when it when it comes out on Netflix or something one day. <laughs> But then speaking of that, I don't think I don't know because it's Disney that are fucking pumping. Is it are they pumping that shit out? 
I can't even think. Or is it technically so Disney's Marvel. Yeah. yeah. No, no, this, yeah, it's still a Disney one because it's Marvel. Well, I mean, rumour has... Oh, I think it's pretty much confirmed kind of thing. I think Disney are releasing their own streaming service next year that's going to kind of have all their shit on. So that means, like, Netflix is going to lose all of, like, the Marvel shit because it's all going to be on their own shit. Is, is that what's, is that what we're, is that what's going to happen? We're just going to... Every company are going to have their own fucking Everyone's streaming Everyone's going to have services. their own streaming sh- service at some point. Yeah, that, I'm going to stay with Netflix. I'm happy with Netflix. So I've never bothered with any of the others. And if I really want to watch anything else, then that's what the internet's for. I discovered like, some. I discovered Viceland the other day. Like, I always watch Vice, but Viceland on the TV. There's so many good shows on it, yeah. and the cooking channel. And the cooking channel. Oh. Like, I'd, I've become an old man. Like, I watch cooking shows. <laughs> like, that's pretty Brilliant. much it. Cooking shows and fucking g- gambler smoking pot on Viceland. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. And, and Game of Thrones, obviously. It's, and Game of Thrones as well. And, and you're in bed by 10. 10.30. Maybe. <laughs> My new bed's extra comfortable. And I don't have a fucking TV in there. So I have to make like the decision of like uncomfortable watching something or absolutely like fall asleep instantly in my new bed so it's it's weighing up the option a lot of the time <laughs> what you want to do is you want to have the, all the doors open and set up a series of mirrors so you can watch the tv from I, your I'm, I'm i'm very tempted to sort of facetime or like skype myself to watch <laughs> the tv i do actually have a tv i could put in there it's just there's no conventional place to put it and i'm pretty sure that the wall i want to wall mount on is made of paper so if i did it, it probably <laughs> <wouldn't survive. laughs> bad things will happen i'm pretty sure it's it wouldn't work if i did it so we'll see so i mean and uh, I've been on a bit of a binge like I, I i've netflix is dead to me now but i've been like finding shit on random channels like youtube is back in a vengeance like i hate youtube because i can lose four hours without even trying <laughs> that's impressive YouTube is for listening to music and for watching game replays only because then I can get ideas of how not to do it fair enough dude fair enough. well let's um, let's jump back into some games anyway and, what you been, uh, Leon? Well, well, I mean, t- tell me about this Xbox adventure because I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to know how has it been well I mean like uh, I, I mean obviously did the last podcast i had literally just received it that day so i hadn't kind of had a proper you know go on it yet and uh i you know i've got my got my ea access so i've got you know a nice library of games there and i've also i got a few games with it i got a a forza horizon 3 uh i got uh well i i suppose i got some other games as well that pretty much have never gone in the fucking console as well i mean i I think i've started like looking at rare replay because that's like so there's some cool games in there that I actually do want to play, um, but uh, it was more like the fir- like as I was saying to you earlier, Mike, the, the first game that I played was Skate Free on there, which is fucking ridiculous. Um, but oh, hello, cat. Um, <laughs> and I I tell you what, it's it's so it's so refreshing playing that game again because that that game was uh, just it was a great skating game, uh, like one of the, one of the best. Uh, and uh, I hope you know one day we do get Escape Four, but for now I will settle Escape Three from the Xbox 360. I already had like all of like the, the DLC for it back on the 360 as well, so that's like carried over nicely as well. Uh, so that's all sorted. And uh, well, Mike, man, we need to we need to fucking get a crew together and uh, start skating again. Carve up some fucking ramps. Yeah, boy. Um, but. I thought the interesting thing, uh, you know, about it, I mean, I've got a terabyte, uh, you know, Xbox One S. Uh, I am already over half the space on my console. Yep. That's insane. Is it just because the games are so big? It's, yep. it's, uh, yeah, that. And it's, it's absolutely ridiculous because of the, any game that you play, any, any game, this game, whatever, you have to install on your console first as well. So in other words, you're just, you're just sitting there sort of waiting, going, all right, you know, I'm just going to wait for this to install now. Oh, it's got to update as well. Okay, all right. Oh, so that's a further, like, 10 gigabytes or something. You know, like... Yeah. 
Uh, so, like, on that kind of level, I was a bit like, I was, I, I mean, I knew that was the case, but I'd kind of forgotten, you know, like, and I was just a bit like, ah, all right, that's uh, a bit of a snag. But in all fairness, though, like, I think, you know, the uh, actually getting into your games quite quickly, uh, it, it, just the fact of that. You know, like if I if I put my console on standby and I was playing yeah. like Titanfall two, you know, I can just literally just like bring it up again and I'll be straight back in the action like really quickly. And uh, that is like a massive plus, you know, on 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 that yeah. point level. But for me, console has always been cartridges or CD or whatever. It's like if I want to install something, then I'll play it on the PC. So you know, that's always been the the difference between the two. Oh, the, the the noise the console makes when the CD spins up like it's about to take off and fly through the window. You know, it's 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 a reassuring noise. You know, what, something to say on that actually. The noise kind of thing was Xbox One is pretty fucking quiet actually. Like, oh, my Xbox One S is at the moment anyway. Because uh, like my my for peer, now. yeah, for now, I'm sure once it accumulates, you know, uh, the 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 complete dust of my room, um, it will be a very different story. Because my PS4 is loud as fuck and uh, i mean it really <laughs> is like it sounds like it, even if i'm not playing a game off a disc like no man's sky for instance i i've just recently fired that up and we'll get into that a bit later uh i just fired that up recently and like it does sound like my my ps4 is the spaceship and i am going around on it uh like <laughs> uh, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous I remember when the PS3s first came out, the uh, the monoliths that they were when I was um, you know. working at EA, uh, we had a room full of them, and the heat that came off them was insane, and the noise was just stupid. Mm. Um, but yeah, I mean, like EA access wise is a fucking great deal. If twenty if you, quid is a bargain, it's so good. Uh, I can't get anything better for twenty quid on I the know, Xbox. I know. I mean, like, like you know, I've got Titanfall two now, and I have been playing the shit out of that. It's fantastic. It's uh, it, and it's like single player. The thing is, is that re oh, that single player story is amazing as well if you haven't played the story just get on it it's it's really good i thought they did a really good do uh, job with it the only problem is is that you know for respawn it didn't do particularly well for them we're probably not gonna see another titanfall uh because of the fact that it wasn't a very good success but i would say you know the main reason i'm not sure why because it's actually a really good game. Oh, and I know why. It's because of the timing. So in other words, like EA really fucked it. You know, and they they yeah, because Battlefield it One it's... and yeah. Call of Duty came out at the same time as Titanfall Two. It just got lost in the shooter madness that was going on. It they they just needed to delay it or bring it out a little bit earlier, kind of thing, to be able to not compete with those titans of the shooter genre. And it would have done really well. Um, it's just really bad timing on their part. Um, the, there was another game that did that. The, uh, there was an RPG, some, something of Reckoning, came out a few years ago. Age of Reckoning, was it? That was like that? Yeah. Uh, amazing game. Really, really good. Came out to no sort of marketing at all. And no one picked it up. And so the company folded. And it was a massive shame because... You know, I've gone back to playing that, and it's it's like hands down beats Fable, uh, or blows it out of the water, and Dragon's Age, and any of those sort of games. It's the same sort of game style, um, but yeah, sadly we will never see anything like that. Mm. Yeah, uh, I mean, other games on the Xbox One quickly. I, I did, uh, I, I picked up like uh, Halo Five, and I've got Halo uh, the Master Chief Collection kind of thing. But uh, I tried playing Halo Five with my brother. Uh, with Brother Shane, like the, the well, I think probably a couple of days after I got the console, and I literally just wanted to chuck the controller out the window. I just like I I couldn't get on with it. I was like, I can't play Halo anymore. What no. am I doing? Uh, like, and the thing is, is that I like my first, I'd say my first proper console multiplayer experience was Halo Two on the Xbox, and uh, I I. You know, I played that game for fucking hours and loved it, but I don't know. I'm just sort of playing as Halo 5. I've been away from it for too long, and it's just sort of, it just doesn't feel right to me, you know? 
doesn't it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like what I'm used to in, in the FPS genre because it's kind of it's moved on quite a bit now and I feel I sort of feel like you know like Halo 2 was a lot of fun back in the day you know with the glitches I feel like that it was just it, it was just fun kind of thing and I found like with Halo 5 because of the fact that it's a, a lot of like uh, like a lot of the maps are in some sense so like fan created you know like you know by us kind of thing they look a bit shit like when you're doing like the i suppose it's not if you're doing ranked play you're doing you're on the proper maps but if you're not on ranked play it's all community based shit and it just sort of like just didn't feel right to me but i think i just need to kind of play it a bit more but timefall 2 i was in straight away i was like yes i am fucking on this game i love it uh, and I recommend it highly. And uh, I'm going to be playing Battlefield 1 soon now as well because, you know, that's just recently dropped on Origin Access. I think it was uh, not last weekend, the weekend before. Um, so I'm going to be all over some, some Battlefield 1 as well. So I'm going to check that out and uh, let you know how I find I remember that. what the other game was that I played. Oh, yeah, go back on. In. So I put The Witcher 3 back in. And uh, that lasted for all of about 15 minutes because I'm so far into it and I've completely forgotten how to play it. Mm. So I was just like, yeah, uh, I'm dead. And I tried to remember any of it and I just gave up. Yeah. I, I think that's the problem with the game. If you don't complete it, it's dead to you. Yeah. I'll, I'll probably have to start it again now. Although it's a really good game if you haven't got it. I, it's a game that I don't have. Uh, and uh, I, 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 many people have told me that it's a good game as well. I really need to get onto it. So I'll see. see I have I The Witcher do. 1 and Witcher 2 on Steam. Ah. Don't have to say one yet. Nice. Uh, and then I suppose I'm just going to do a quick mention. I, I played uh, a couple of the PlayStation Plus games that were on the uh, PS Vita because uh, I was sort of traveling over the weekend as such. And uh, I thought, you know what, fuck it, I'll give this a proper go. I actually managed to complete one of them on my on my journeys as well, uh, which is the uh, the first one that I played, which was level twenty two. And uh, you're basically playing uh, an office worker called Gary. And Gary. yeah, oh Gary, uh, he basically no. oversleeps after a drunken night out on the town. And uh, what what you're basically trying to do is that basically you're you you're you're late all the time to your like office job, and uh, like if your if your boss necessarily spots you being late one more time, then he's gonna fire you. So the oh, I like this game. Uh, it's honestly it's a great game, great little game. And uh, so like the, you're basically just trying to get to level twenty two uh, to uh, to be able to you know pretend that you. You you uh, you weren't late in some sense, which is kind of cool. So you're like sneaking around, like using uh, like just a sort of random objects to be able to kind of like get, throw people off so that you can kind of move behind them. It's like a sort of like a little a kind of like stealth kind of game, but it's sort of more like a puzzler, if you know what I mean, like an isometric kind of puzzler. And it's it's a lot of fun. I I played <laughs> hello a cat again. Um, I played like the literally the whole way through the game. Got got through it. I didn't like collect all because the, there's like um, collectibles as well, like you know see the toys and there's like secret rooms and that as well. I didn't mm. kind of do all of them because like I remember sort of sitting there trying to do some of the levels and go, oh for fuck's sake, how would you even do this? And then like you get that eureka moment, like you're like, oh yeah, of course you fucking do that, yeah, yeah, yeah. like. <laughs> but I, I definitely recommend it highly. A lot of fun. Uh, it's on the. Uh, it's one of the PlayStation Plus games uh, for this month. Uh, if you've, I think it is. Uh, I think you can pick it up on PS4 as well. Um, so yeah, if you've got a PS4, definitely check that out. Uh, the other game that I was playing as well. Um, it's a Devolver Digital game uh, as well. It's a Downfall, um, which I, I think. I think I might be wrong just because it looks like it. I think it's using the same engine as what Nuclear Throne is. Uh, so that's like the game creator studio thing uh, because it's literally got exactly the same life bar and the way it kind of functions as well. It kind of has the like when you get to the end of the level because it's all procedurally generated. When you get to the end of the level, you have like all of the upgrades there and you can kind of select it. And it's like it, they, the screens look exactly the same. Um, is that but, the match three game? The what? Is it the match three game where you're running around in mechs? No. Downfall okay. is your. It's it literally just a. Um, well, I'm just trying to think. Of, wait, it's it's a two D 
platformer. Uh, yeah, platformer, but it literally you're just falling down. Uh, you're just the, the whole point of the game is that you're trying to get further down the well. And uh, there's like things that are kind of on the side that you know, sort of trying to stop you, and you can kind of shoot down. You can only shoot down, kind of thing, and you're just going down. Is is this pretty much it? There's not much All to the game. Down. It's not much to the game, um, but because it is procedurally generated, you can't learn that shit. It just it and it gets hard as fuck. I get. I think I've, the furthest I've got is probably I think it was like the th the fourth level. Um, and it just it just got too hard for me. And the thing is, I say the fourth level. I mean, three of I think it was two of one, you know, two 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 to one because it was one 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 two one three, two. Yeah, I think it was two one, and then the caverns that I got to. And I I just I can't I can't get any further than that point because it's just it mm. just gets nails hard. Because uh, like. You, there's not really much chance to kind of get your health back up. You only start with four health as well. Uh, so, like, you know, four hits and you're out. And that's it. You, and Such you, is life. Yeah, you don't start a new level or anything like that as well and get your health back or anything. No, no, none of that shit. You just, you've got four health and, you know, you deal with it. But, I mean, don't get me wrong. You, you, you do like your roguelike games, though, don't you, Liam? Oh, I do, yeah. And I always, I always sort of find myself, you know, attracted to them always. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's going to be a game that I'm going to be just sort of casually playing on my Vita for a while, that one. I think that that will probably stay installed li uh, like uh, Nuclear Throne, once again, and uh, Rogue Legacy. Uh, they're both still on, on my Vita. Uh, I always sort of come back to them. Uh, but... Let's move on uh, to some No Man's Sky news. Uh, I have had a little play on the Atlas Rises update, and uh, I've heard. A game in now? Is it good? I've actually I've heard a, a lot of great feedback uh, from because I've got like a little little group of people that you know play No Man's Sky. We've got our own little Facebook chat kind of group that we kind of uh, will sit there and talk about No Man's Sky and. Uh, they, I, they, I had it muted for ages because I hadn't played that game for for fucking long. Um, but you know, one of the guys sort of poked me and was like, "You really got to go and check out this update. It's it's actually really cool what they've done with it." And they were like, "Make sure you just start again as well because there's, there's just like, it it just gets confusing if you're kind of trying to pick it up again like after you haven't been playing it for so long and everything like that." So I was like, "All right." I start again. I mean, I've played it for about, I don't know, three, four hours. I'm still very much going through tutorial shit, but the tutorial shit is very different to how I kind of experienced it before. Like, it feels like they've kind of, they're, they're making it a little bit easier for you on that kind of, they're kind of like, they're, they're giving you a bit more purpose, you know, on, on, on you going around. Uh, but the the things what they've kind of done on this particular expansion is that they've uh, they've said that they've added about thirty uh, thirty more hours of new story content, um, so they they've doubled the lore and interactions of the existing game, which is, that that's really cool in itself. Um, you're actually going to be kind of actually exploring more on the actual the the sort of the history on a lot a lot of the like the races uh, you know what the sentinels are. Anything like that, which so they've they've really kind of they've expanded a lot more on the story, which is a really cool thing. Uh, I think the the big thing that sort of people are quite excited about is that there is necessarily some form of multiplayer now. I don't really know on how that works. Actually, you are actually able to meet other players. It's not different uh, from how it was when it was first marketed. Yes, exactly. Apparently that is the case, which is really cool. I, I'm I'm pretty excited about that to be able to kind of check that out. I suddenly realise that it is actually good to play with others. The, the whole concept of you never seeing anyone ever for playing for 500 years isn't actually all that great. Hmm. Well, I mean, they've they've adjusted a lot. Uh, in all fairness, I mean, we've got uh, you know Terran ed editing as well now, so we can do terraforming finally. Uh, they there's definitely some more like sort of visual kind of improvements as well that I've kind of noticed. The user interface has had a bit of a work. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Uh, the user interface has had a bit of a uh, sort of a work around as well. Um, you know they've they've really thrown a lot into this game. You know after this game, you know being oh. out for a year now, it's just like kind of like the the sort of 
anniversary patch i would kind of say as well i mean it's called atlas rises and uh it does look like they have kind of worked a lot into the game and i'm i'm quite excited to be checking out a bit more on it uh i've been playing it a lot sort of over the last couple of days and uh I'm definitely going to be sinking some more time into that game again because it sounds like you know hello games have actually delivered the game that they were promising to deliver in the first place now so uh it might be the right time to get back into it and the good thing is as well is that sony are actually uh, on the playstation 4 it's only a tenor as well at the moment so uh which, right. is, which is a great fucking deal uh i think that's a steal price so um yeah i think it i think it might be time to get back into no man's sky um, yeah, sorry, apologies for that. My uh, cat suddenly realised that she can put her uh, paws through the bars, so has uh, moved from looking at them to fishing for them. Uh, so <laughs> that was that was close. Nice. Um, moving into other news, uh, we other uh, news. Yeah, Nintendo is facing a lawsuit over the design of the uh, the Nintendo Switch sort of controller. In other words, the one that you kind of take out and everything like that. Uh, apparently, it's it's the uh, sort of, uh, I think it's called the Wiki Pad. Um, yeah, it's sort of it, it. I can kind of see some sort of similarities. Similarities. I wouldn't it's, say it's that similar, but I wouldn't either. Um, but they pretty much. Sort How of is it only just coming out now? I know, right? Uh, that's exactly what I thought as well. But yeah, I mean, there's the wiki pad there. I've got sort of up on screen. That just looks like a Game Gear to me. Yeah, it really does. So surely Game Gear should get in on this and say, "Oh, Sega, no. this is your, this is your moment. Get back in the game, bro." I think it's more I... about the fact of that because I think for the wiki pad there, I think the screen would necessarily maybe come out. I think it might be kind of the docking mechanism yeah, as well yeah. uh, that they're kind of sort I think of. That's the main thing that they're they're talking about is the docking side of things not the actual pad itself yeah uh so yeah i mean i i, I to be honest i i don't think they've got a leg to stand on really i don't think it's really going to go anywhere i i don't think they're going to have a pattern that's necessarily going to cover that it's, it's basically this company for, that no one's ever heard of it's sort of that it looks very you know slightly similar so they're going to try and make some money out of it yeah pretty much i mean they, they were they pretty much sort of straight out you know when they were kind of doing it as well they were like yeah we want you to stop selling the switch until this is over and stuff like that and it's like, yeah get fucked that like that's oh, gonna oh. happen well, back, yeah. back order everywhere <laughs> Uh, and then on the uh, last bit of news that I've got for this week, uh, we've kind of had some more information, in some sense of what's going to be happening in the uh, n the 5.0 update on the firmware. Uh, they kind of sort of said that they're going to be kind of doing a lot of stuff for the kind of Twitch uh, kind of services, which is cool. Um, if you've got a PS4 Pro, you are going to be able to kind of uh, really utilize the machine a bit more. And you're going to be able to stream at 1080p with uh, 60 frames per second, um, which is that, that's pretty cool. You haven't been able to do that before. Um, hello, Jellywell, with your Russian writing. I'm assuming it's Russian. I apologize. I can't understand that. Uh, yeah, that's Russian. Cool. Um, uh, the uh, the other cool thing as well is that the because uh, uh, I mean you could kind of already do on the PS4 Pro you could kind of the, the remote play you can do that at 1080p because um, the if you're on a standard PS4 uh, you can only do that up to 720p at the moment um, so that's uh, you know that PS4 Pro that I think it's kind of a where you want to be on the PlayStation kind of uh, vibe at the moment because you know you definitely got a bit more power for uh, for what it's worth. Uh, I'm just trying to think what else is in the 5.0 update. Uh, let's have a look through. I think it's more just sort of visual kind of things, uh, you know, about the quick menu and stuff like that. Uh, apparently, it's good. the VR stuff is going to be supporting more languages as well. Uh, uh, so we got we got uh, Czech, Thai, Greek, Indonesian, Vietnamese, Romanian, Hungarian. Not that that really matters to me, but we haven't actually got a public release date for five yet. I think it's more just on the kind of Twitch kind of point of view that is actually a really good uh, thing for PS4 Pro owners out there. I don't have one, so it doesn't really affect me too much. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, Dave, are you going to get a console at some point? Yeah, one 
it's it's in the works. <laughs> oh man. Uh, but yeah, I mean that's about all I've got for this week, guys. Uh, unless there's anything else that you'd like to add? No, no, no. Um, not really. Uh, sorry, I'm keeping a half eye on the, the the cats versus the mice. It's fascinating stuff. I might actually set up a webcam. You should. So, my my next uh, video is it's not me playing video games. It's the the cats attempting to uh, kill mm. the mice. Some sort of like slow ass Tom and Jerry style thing. <laughs> nice, nice. All right, well, uh, let's wrap this baby up then, and then we'll do an intro straight after, uh, which should be a bit <laughs> yes. odd. So let's let's do it that way. So uh, if you'd like to take it's part, oh voice. sorry. Uh, apologies for not understanding what you're saying. Um, I, I I know a little bit of Russian, but from the it's quite blurry, so I can't actually see what you're saying. But I'm sure whatever is is uh, deep and profound. But uh, thank you very much for joining us. Yes, yes, indeed. Uh, anyway, if you'd like to take part in the conversation, you can give a post on our Facebook or facebook.com forward slash game over here. You can tweet us using at Govier, and you can also follow us on Twitch, which is probably what you're doing now. But if you're not doing it now, then you can still follow us on Twitch when we are live on Twitch, which is www.twitch.tv forward slash Govier. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's youtube.com forward slash user forward slash game over yeah UK. And you can also drop us an email if you'd like to. So it's contact us at gameoveryear.net. And don't forget the most important place where you can find all of our links, uh, which is at our website, gameoveryear.net. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, and until next time, Game, game Over Year! year. <laughs>